one of the things that Photoshop has always done beautifully is color correct. And as we all know, we can't always have ideal lighting when we shoot video, especially indoors. So what I'm going to do is jump to the first frame of this movie. In the timeline, I just clicked Go to First Frame. And I might want to watch a little bit later in the movie. I'm just pulling my playhead a little bit farther. In order to do a color correction that applies to all of this video group, I'm going to actually click Video Group 1. I can select it in the Layers panel or select it in the Timeline. And to the right, where you see a little film strip icon, make a new video group. And in order to name it, I'll double click in Layers and call it Color Correction, or CX for short. Now, anything you can do with adjustment layers, you can do on a video. So if I look at the bottom of my layers panel, I can click and see all of the adjustments I have available. And they're also in the adjustments panel. But let's start with a really simple one. Let's start with levels, the second icon in the top row. And when I do levels, there is a fabulous auto button which just makes the overall brightness and contrast better. There we go. Now, it did help the color a bit, but I want to lighten a little bit more. So I'll drag this gray slider a little bit to the left until you could see more of the child. And when I do that, I could make the contrast better by taking the shadows a little bit darker, the blackest spot. Now, this was taken in the late afternoon, and indoors, depending on your lighting, I'm getting a yellow cast, which is common. There was no flash on, which might cause a blue cast. So a great way to combat yellow is with a photo filter. So I can come to the bottom of Layers and choose Photo Filter. A warming filter is a common one but the cooling filters will apply a blue. Blue combats yellow. And once all of that is applied, I can click play. Computer images have two types, raster and vector. Raster images will obey up from pixels. Vector images are made up from points. And with him moving around a lot, it may not be perfect, but if you pause, if you see the final frame, it actually looks pretty good. So I can always come back and double click on the levels, actually this little semicircle icon, and make it darker or brighter. But you could go on and on with this. You could boost the vibrance, which is really cool. I always use vibrance over saturation to make every color a little bit richer, but I could continue going on. With this, I really only needed the photo filter and the levels to remove that yellow cast and be able to see the child better. So I'm going to trash the Vibrance layer and hit Delete and Delete again. The first delete deleted the mask. Technically, everything is being applied, but you could paint it in only on certain areas. I don't need the whole Vibrance. I can click the eye icon off and on on levels to see before and after and on the photo filter to see before and after. And it's already a lot better very quickly. So try some of the adjustment layers on your own video.